What's up creatives, it's Seb here. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create this easy before and after wipe transition in Premiere Pro. This one's gonna be a super quick one, so before we get started, don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm all about posting high quality short form content. So now we've gone all of that out of the way, let's hop right into this quick Premiere Pro tutorial. So welcome to the editing desk. Let's get right into this quick and easy before and after wipe transition. So start off by opening up Premiere Pro and then have the clip that you want to add the effect to. Start by pressing Alt and then drag up on your clip so you can duplicate it. And now from here, I then want to add a color grade to it so I can do a cool before and after wipe with all my color grades. So I'm going to quickly go into my effects controls and then I'm going to add my color grade right here. So here you can see we now have the color graded version. If I disable this, then it's the original. Now what we're gonna do is grab our razor tool and then cut it. And I want to add the wipe as the video continues. So here we've got the original and then we've got the color graded. So I wanna have a wipe here. So we're gonna go back to our effects and then we're gonna type in wipe. And then if you scroll all the way down, it should be the second to last one that says wipe. Just drag that onto the top of your clip. And then you can see it's already starting to take place here. So if we have a quick preview, you can see that we have a before and after wipe. Now, if you want to customize this, keep watching. All you have to do is click on your wipe transition right here. And if you want to change the direction, you just have to click on these arrows right here. So here it's going from right to left. If you want it to go diagonal, we can do it like that. Up or down, whatever, you can easily customize it. Now, if you want to make your wipe transition faster or slower, just click on your wipe and then at the end of your wipe, you'll have this icon. If you drag it closer, it'll be faster. And if you drag it further, it'll be longer. So here we can see we've got a long wipe. And you can even customize this even further. So once again, click on your wipe transition. You can add cool borders. So if you want to have a little bit of a black border when you're doing your wipe, just add it. So let's do 70 or 80. Now you can see we've got a cool little bar right there. So it adds a transition. So it makes it a little bit more noticeable. Now one bonus tip before we finish off the video, if you want to add a cool feather to your wipe instead of this basic one, go ahead and delete this one right here. Then we want to go to your effects and then type in linear. And then you have the linear wipe right here. Now this one's a little bit more customizable if you want to say it like that. Go down to the linear effect and then do transition completion. So at the start and then where you want your wipe to finish, you just go there and then you set it to 100%. And then all you have to do is add a feather. So if you add a feather of 50%, it's a little bit more hardware intensive. So you might have to pre-render this. But if we go right here, you'll then see that we've got a feather on our wipe, which looks pretty smooth. So that's a little bonus tip on how to add a before and after wipe with a feather. So that's the end of the video. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, do smash the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching. If you've got any other video recommendations you want me to make, let me know in the comments down below and I'll see you in the next video.